Welcome to the channel where making astrology known and understandable is the number one priority. I'm a Scottish astrologer and in this video I'm going to explain how to increase sexual potency and fertility through astrology. Okay, first off you need to understand that Venus governs the procreative faculty and so generation, sexual potency and fertility. Some people naturally have low sexual potency and are not very fertile people. And this is caused by a badly situated and aspected Venus, okay, on the natal chart. But if you have Venus, on the other hand, on your natal chart, well positioned, okay. So, for example, let's say Venus in Pisces on a natal chart, and so it's in exaltation. And if there's no bad aspects, and let's say it's in its favourite house, the fifth house, the house of love, children, pleasure, etc., you will be naturally very fertile and have a high sexual potency and sex drive. But fertility and sexual potency can be altered by your diet and lifestyle regardless of the level of your natural sexual potency and fertility. You all must realise and be aware that every plant and herb, animal, stone, metal, etc., are all chiefly governed and basically contain within it the energies of a certain planet. And so, depending on your diet and lifestyle, you may or may not be consuming, etc., what you should be when it comes to maintaining high sexual potency and fertility levels. Now, if you click on the Inside Series playlist on the channel, I explain exactly what plants, herbs, etc. are governed by which planet. So watch inside Venus to see what Venus governs, and so on and so forth. You can also categorize aphrodisiac food as being governed by Venus also. Okay, so you need to know that the procreative faculty, sexual potency and fertility is governed principally by the influence of Venus, okay? And sexual potency and fertility is augmented and increased by Venus. And so by consuming her plants and herbs, etc. in your diet, you will be increasing and augmenting sexual potency and fertility. Now, sexual potency and fertility is... Dim uh, diminished or cleansed by Mars, okay, so the planet Mars either diminishes sexual potency and fertility or cleanses it, depending on if you have some sort of, you know, illness regarding sex, a sexual illness, shall we say, and when we're talking about medicine, Mars would cleanse, and Sexual potency and fertility is totally extinguished by Saturn, okay? The plants, herbs that are governed by Saturn. Again, check out the Inside Series playlist to find out what planets govern which plants, herbs, etc. So make sure you introduce as much Venus into your diet as you can and cut out Saturn. Remember, everything is okay in moderation, but if you consume Mars and Saturn on a daily basis, and have basically no Venus on a daily basis, you will be extinguishing your own sexual potency and fertility on a more or less severe level, okay, depending on the situation of Venus on your natal chart, which again determines the natural sexual potency and fertility of a person. So basically if you have naturally high sexual potency and fertility on your natal chart, and you consume in your diet what I just mentioned, which is going to lower sexual potency and fertility. You will lower it compared to what your natural state is, but you won't lower, you won't kill it off completely. Whereas if you have a natural, very low fertility sexual potency on your natal chart, and then you consume no Venus on a daily basis and Saturn and Mars, then you will totally extinguish what you have, okay, so it's based on that. Also, if you pick 
herbs or plants, if you have a garden, you grow your own plants, uh, vegetables, fruits, etc. Okay, so if you pick herbs or plants ruled by Venus yourself, make sure you pick them when Venus is angular, and on the day of Venus, which is Friday, and on the hour of Venus for maximum potency of the plants or herbs and their effects. Okay. Also, I will say that tobacco and cannabis are both governed by Saturn, okay, and are both proven, proven to lower sexual potency and fertility, but again, at different levels in different people, and this is because of the natural sexual potency and fertility levels determined by Venus's situation on a natal or birth chart, okay, as it's otherwise known. I think that's about everything for this video, but please, before anyone decides to leave comments saying this is wrong, etc., the information, please put what I'm saying to the test first. This is old knowledge, but relevant and accurate. Okay, folks, a big thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and do not forget to hit the bell at the right-hand side of the subscribe button. Thanks again, guys. Take care.